Tree Man Syndrome, is a very rare and inherited disease. In 20% of cases, it is familiar, and has very few cases worldwide. To date, the scientific literature reports about 200 cases. It is a disease, characterized by an uncontrolled growth of papules, scales, and growths, which mainly affect the hands and feet. It is able to deform them, making them similar to branches, or better to the bark of a tree. The real name of this syndrome, is verusiform epidermodysplasia. What are the causes? It is caused by a defect in the immune system, which increases susceptibility to the human papillomavirus, HPV diseases, such as warts, but can also cause malignant tumors, such as cervical, oral, anus, esophagus, and larynx. This rare disease, is therefore caused by a chronic human papillomavirus infection, in particular by the oncogenic power of some viral strains, and is transmitted in an autosomal recessive manner. What does it mean? The parents of a child, with autosomal recessive disease, are healthy, but carry a mutation in the gene for that disease, i.e. one of the two copies of the gene is mutated, while the other is not. Children will therefore have a 25% chance of inheriting the mutated genes from both their father and mother and then developing the disease. Verusiform epidermodysplasia, in most cases, occurs in childhood and affects men and women alike. The first symptoms that begin to appear are flat warty papules, irregular reddish-brown plaques, scaling or hyperkeratotic lesions, aromatous macules. In general, these are therefore skin lesions that do not affect the mucous membranes, such as the conjunctiva or the oral cavity. This pathology is associated with the development of skin cancer, S such as squamous cell carcinoma. What are the treatments? There is currently no cure for verusiform epidermodysplasia, but there are some treatments that can be used. Some of these are Treatments based on cryotherapy, also known as cold therapy. Drugs, surgical excision. Through surgery, the growths are removed. But then, there is the risk that they can grow back, and even faster than before. Electrosurgery and photodynamic therapy, a particular treatment technique, suitable for some skin lesions, can also be used. In subjects suffering from verusiform epidermodysplasia, it is important not to expose yourself to the sun, in order to reduce the risk of developing some forms of skin cancer.